What's going on guys? I'm your girl Andy Crimson and welcome to Mukbangs and Hangs. I'm sorry for the delay. Life just got a little bit busy, a little bit crazy. So that's why the mukbang was delayed a day. But nevertheless, we are here. It's dinner time and it's been a minute since I've done a frozen food review. So today we have Innovation Honey Chicken. Never had this brand before. I hope it's good because I'm starving. It comes with white chicken meat with sweet and savory sauce, crisp carrots, and red bell peppers over rice. The whole shebang. So we're going to try this out and hopefully it'll taste good. Okay, so here it is in all its glory. It looks like a super small portion. That's because it, it is. It's like a bowl, right? So we've got the, it was white rice. It's a little bit brown because of the sweet and savory sauce. Got some chicken here, the carrots and the bell pepper. And I have some sparkling mineral water. Just a spritz of lime. I know, we fancy out here. <laughs> So, and I've got some sanfitas, like corn chips, you know, just as the side. I should have gotten some kind of like egg rolls. I just didn't think about it. But we're going to try this and see what happens. Ooh, mix it up a little bit. The chicken doesn't look that convincing. I can tell you that right now, especially there's this piece here. It just looks like, um, like the fried breading thing. I don't know, but we'll see. It smells okay. It smells decent. I was expecting a little bit more brown sauce or some kind of reddish sauce, but oh well. We're gonna try, I think there's a piece of chicken here. We'll do like a bite of it because I wanna make sure I get everything. So first bite, this is the honey chicken from Innovation. Pretty decent <laughs> first bites for being a frozen Chinese meal. The chicken was surprisingly like a little bit tender. Um, flavor's good. I'm just personally more of a sauce person. Like would have had probably had more sauce on mine, but it's not bad. And it's pretty average right now. But it would probably definitely need some like appetizers like some sides for sure oh always forgetting my napkin so what's new guys talk to me i admittedly have not been having the most amazing time i've just been like kind of emotional i guess we all go through periods of stuff so i'm just trying to work my way through that and surprisingly, well, I don't know if it's that surprisingly, I guess it's surprising to myself how much I've gravitated more towards music to kind of help me cope with things. And I've, you know, been able to experience and learn with music lately, which you guys should totally subscribe to my Patreon and channel memberships because I'm going to be posting some behind the scenes content soon. And I'll be posting some other stuff as well on channel side Instagram to kind of see what behind the scenes and see what I've been up to lately. But I really surprised myself how much I was gravitating towards it. Like, I love music. I love to sing. You know, I like being, I don't know if a show, show woman's the right word. <laughs> I'm not that great at it, but I like, you know, channeling that creative energy that way. But I don't know. That's just what I've been up to, I guess, channeling and trying to cope. <laughs> What do you all do when you're not feeling so hot? Are you an artist? Are you more of a worker type? You just like do the best you can at your job or just get involved in the community? What is it that you all do? The bell peppers actually feels like very fresh and juicy. Mm. <sighs> mm. 
Chicken is not as yummy as I anticipated. <laughs> Let's check this out. See if there's any. You know, a bunch of these like new frozen foods are like boasting the low calories, the high protein, um, more, I guess like vegan. No, look, no MSG, no artificial colors, no artificial flavors, um, except for that naturally occurring in soy sauce. Okay. I don't know. People are just like marketing their things differently, I guess, or they're trying to. Oh. Innovation. I mean, seems like they're trying. <laughs> yeah. I dig the carrots too. You know what I like in Chinese food? Like those water chestnuts have like nice crunchiness. I don't know if anybody saw that. <laughs> Sometimes, oh it hurts. I drink too fast or I don't know what goes on there but <laughs> going down the wrong pipe. So I don't know if you guys saw or are familiar with, with Mad Galaga, the most really coolest chick, hip chick that I've come across in the music scene. I've just really connected with her, like with her artistry and her passion. She's really inspiring. She just launched a Kickstarter program for her um, potential debut album. And it's really, really cool. They've already got half of the money raised. And I'm just excited to see when it gets all fleshed out. Um, I can link that in the description if you guys are interested, but there's going to have some musical guests on there. And if you have no idea who I'm talking about, you should go look up Mad Galaga. Um, that's the thing about with a lot of music nowadays or people that, you know, I'm not just born into a label family. It's all about the DIY, you know, crowdfunding, kickstarting, GoFundMes. And it just must be really cool. To have someone believe in you so much or in your project that, you know, we're, you're manifesting it to exist, basically. I really, um, dig the song Souls on Fire. I did, I did miss most of the live stream. I haven't had a chance to go back and watch it when she went live with Sophia Milken. Um, but when I was listening to it, oh my god, their voices were just, I was trying, it was transcend transcendent, I don't know if I'm using that word correctly. But they sounded amazing and it was just so beautiful. Let's see if I can do half of this chicken. See, this is the one I was telling you guys that looks a little wonky. Super thin, thin piece. Oh, also this past weekend I went out, haven't been out in a minute, and there was this cover band called Vinyl Spin. The Vinyl Spin, Vinyl Spin. And they're pretty cool. Um, I got, I requested them to do a Toto song, and it was really cool. Um, I've been wanting to, I don't know, over the whole night I was just like, hold the line, hold the line. But they played Africa, which was really cool of them. Um, I can appreciate that band. They're very tight sounding, um, just flows. And they got like four-part harmonies which were very very impressive even in the drummer also man it's next level stuff they played everything from the classics rock spanish mm. they must have like a huge huge like register of music Almost down to the wire, guys. As I'm coming up to the last bits, 
even though like the vegetables are a little like I said of uh, juicy maybe they're the whole mix is just a little too watery would have preferred some more soy sauce some red sauce which is fine at least they're not hard and taste weird I think for the next um, frozen food review, I want to try a Hungry Man. I've been looking for, I guess, the old school ones, like the huge ones, because recently I've only seen like the bowl kind, and I don't know if they make like the tray looking ones anymore, which I was really interested in, and they like look cool to do. It kind of reminds me of like, um, like high school or middle school in a way, the food trays. Let's see if I can get this last bite with some rice. <clears throat> Alrighty, guys, here we go. Well, it wasn't inedible. I ate it, right? <laughs> so I'm ranging. I'm stuck. I want to give it some more points, but I feel like it doesn't have enough pizzazz for me to push it over the edge, you know what I mean? But it's like decent enough. I mean, if you're hungry and that's all you got, it's all right. But on a scale of one to 10, give it like a six i mean it's above average i mean it could have been way worse the chicken was good it wasn't too gamey could have had more could have had more sauce um maybe a little bit more seasoning on everything else but for all intents and purposes it was all right you know Asian, yeah I <laughs> what i should do I don't know if next week would be too soon for another Chinese mukbang or like frozen food. I used to get, I think they're called Taipei, like the little weird like oval looking bucket ones. I used to eat those all the time. But now that I've had this one, I kind of want to revisit those and see if this is better or not. Because I used to eat those, like I said, like all the flipping time. <sighs> but... We'll see what's next. Um, I'm still kind of exploring my options as far as like local food goes. Um, chain wise, there hasn't really been anything that I had to try for you guys. McDonald's did release the Cardi B and the Offset meal, which is just like the same products, just like in a different order, like a type of soda and stuff, which I don't really normally drink anyway. So I don't know if you guys have had heard anything on the grapevine or anything, let me know, drop a comment. Let me know what y'all are thinking about this video, this mealtime. Have you had it before, the innovation, or any other suggestions are welcome down below in the comments. Uh, like I said, I will link below Mad Galaga's uh, Kickstarter if you want to go check that out. Um, also in the links, I'm going to have my Patreon down there so you guys can check out everything that I'm doing behind the scenes and be the first to know what's going on before everything gets released online. And what else? Hmm. I think that's all I got, but if I don't, I'll probably leave a comment pinned somewhere. So thank you guys for joining me on this mukbang this afternoon. I hope you all have a great rest of the day, great rest of the week, and I will see you all next time. Bye.